Hey guys, Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this famous chocolate cake in a tin can. Most people call this a dream cake and it has 5 layers. The chocolate cake, chocolate pudding, chocolate ganache, melted chocolate, and a dusting of cocoa powder on top. It's been around in the market for quite some time now and I thought I'll have my take on this. So if you want to know how I made this, just stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now let's get into the video. So in a big bowl, just combine your all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and your sugar. And then just give that a whisk just to get all the dry ingredients together. Now we can pour in the hot water and a half a teaspoon of instant coffee powder. You can actually dissolve the instant coffee powder in the hot water, but adding them separately works as well. Um, also, you will not taste the coffee in the chocolate cake, but I like to add a little bit of coffee because it enhances the chocolate flavor of the cake. So I just gave this batter a head start and started whisking. Now it looks super thick, but we are going to add the rest of the ingredients and that's going to be the buttermilk, vegetable oil, one large egg, and your vanilla extract. And then just using the same whisk, just beat it until it's one homogeneous mixture. So if your batter is looking a little too runny, that's fine. It is the consistency we are going for. Now I am going to split this batter into two. It is best to weigh it and then divide the weight into two just to make sure that they are equal and will look the same. So I have two 6 inch tin where I will bake these cakes in. I already lined the bottom of each tin with parchment paper and buttered and dusted the sides with cocoa powder to make sure that the cakes will release nicely after baking. After successfully dividing the batter into two equal parts, we are now going to bake these into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 35 minutes. Test it with a skewer. If it comes out clean, you know it's done. If it doesn't, give it another 3 to 5 minutes in the oven. Now these cakes just came out of the oven. I just transferred them onto a tray to cool down. So where they are cooling, let's make the other layers of this cake. The next layer is the chocolate pudding. So in a large saucepan, just combine your cocoa powder, cornstarch, sugar, and salt. And then using a whisk, just whisk those together until they're well combined. Also, you want to sift your cocoa powder because those are super lumpy and sifting it helps remove any lumps. And then add in the milk and just continue whisking. At this point, you can now turn on the stove to low heat. Again, you want to cook this chocolate pudding on low heat so it can thicken properly. With that said, I'm going to tell you that it's going to take some time, about 10 to 12 minutes. So at first, this mixture, it's going to look thin and runny and then you'll notice that it will start to steam. Please keep in mind that you have to be constantly stirring or whisking to avoid burning the pudding. Once it starts to boil, give it another 2 minutes before turning off the stove and then add in your butter and vanilla extract and then just whisk to combine. Or you can use your spatula. The pudding should be really really thick and it should cover the back of a spoon or a spatula like this. And then when you scrape it down the center, it should look like this. See? Now I'm just transferring this pudding in a bowl and then I'm going to cover it with a cling wrap to prevent a skin from forming. You want to make sure that the cling wrap is touching the pudding. Now let's set this aside and start making the third layer of our cake. The third layer will be a chocolate ganache. So in a heat safe bowl, combine equal parts of dark chocolate and heavy cream. This is actually a baking chocolate and not the kind that you add in a chocolate chip cookie. And then we are going to microwave this for about 30 seconds on high and whisk to help dissolve the chocolate into the cream. If it needs another go in the microwave, give it another 30 seconds. Once all the chocolate has melted, it should look like this. It's a little bit thicker and it's actually going to thicken some more as it cools. This is actually it for the chocolate ganache. It gets easier, isn't it? 
The fourth layer is just melted chocolate. This time, I'm going to use semi-sweet chocolate and I chopped it to tiny pieces so it's easier to melt. And again, we are going to microwave this on high for 30 seconds and stir until all the chocolate has melted. If it looks like it needs another go in the microwave, just keep in mind to do it at 30 seconds increments so you don't burn the chocolate. Now that's our fourth layer. We are now ready to assemble the cake. The chocolate tin I'm using is about 2 inch to 2 and a half inches high. And with the cake this high, it doesn't really give me much room to squeeze in the other layers of the chocolate. So with that, I'm going to have to trim one third of each cake using a cake leveler. So this is our first cake and then we're going to do the same on our second cake. Using a cake leveler makes this step super easy. But if you don't have a cake leveler, you can use a serrated knife. You want to just be very careful because this cake is actually quite delicate. So that's our first cake done and set it off to the side and then take our second cake. So I'm just peeling off the parchment paper. I didn't mention this on the first cake but make sure to remove the parchment paper. And that's our second cake done and then we can set this off to the side. And then what's gonna happen is those trimmed parts can actually go together and form a third cake. Yay! So to assemble the cake, put your cake into the tin can and add about half a cup or so of the chocolate pudding. And then I'm just spreading it to the cake using a spatula. I'm trying to get it as even as I can. And then we're going to add the third layer which is the chocolate ganache. Add about 3 quarters of a cup. It's actually easier to spread since it hasn't fully set. And then I'm going to add the fourth layer which is the melted chocolate. I'm using a spatula and I'm kind of putting a thin layer on top of the ganache. This is actually a little bit tricky. Once I'm done covering the top with melted chocolate, I'm just smoothing the top using an offset spatula. Now we are going to refrigerate this for about 5 to 10 minutes. We just want the melted chocolate to harden. Once the cake is out of the refrigerator, we are going to dust in some cocoa powder at top to finish off this 5 layer chocolate cake. Now we just need to repeat the assembling process to the other two cakes left. And that's it guys! I hope you liked this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that notification bell below so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Thanks for watching! I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!